Sheffield Steelers return to the arena for the game against the Panthers after a 4-2 victory against Brayhead. The Panthers had Saturday off. The first period, in fact the first shift, was all about the Sheffield Steelers. Not a minute into the game and Squires and Laguie weave their magic and look at this for a nice finish from Steelers assistant coach Ashley Tate. Great pass coming up from Jeff Laguie. Great finish from Ashley Tate. Just the start the Sheffield Steelers leading they led after just 48 seconds. Let's see it again. Look at the great movement from Ashley Tate. Fallings the space. And when the puck comes to him, buries it past the glove hand of Craig Kowalski. The Steelers find a way past Kowalski. The Panthers, though, came pressing. As ever, Jordan Fox instrumental in everything. A big melee, big cross check there from Finity. And Murray Hansen sees it. The Sheffield Steelers go on the kill. Finity heads to the penalty box. Power play time for Corey Nielsen's side. Big shot comes in from the outside. Savage does well to get to the corner first and the Steelers break. They break two on one. Laguie and Ashley Tate. Look at the pass from Laguie. Look at the finish from Ashley Tate. The Steelers lead 2-0, short-handed at 9.36. You'll see what a better finish it was from our reverse angle. Just look where Ashley Tate puts this. Right over the shoulder of Kowalski. Top corner, Ashley Tate made it 2-0. In fact, the Sheffield Steelers thought they'd made it 3-0 as well. In fact, Ashley Tate thought he'd got his hat trick. A melee in front of Kowalski. Ashley Tate all over the top of Kowalski. Referees union, Murray Hansen was having none of that. No goal. Here, we see it again. Tate over the top of Kowalski. Puck somehow lines up in the back of the net. Big turning point. 49 seconds into the second period. Stevenson and Lee clash. Not a great scrap. Why is it a big turning point? You'll see in a moment. Neither guy's getting completely on top of this fight. Lee's thrown a couple of bombs and Stevenson throws a couple over the top that don't really connect and Lee throws a couple that don't really connect. And then they just have a wrestle and they roll down. Five minute penalty apiece. 2-0 Steelers when Stevenson goes into the penalty box. It was 2-2 when he came out. Jordan Flux deflection after a Danny Myers shot. The Panthers back in this one at 22.09. A little bit of a melee afterwards. Flaff gets involved with the celebrations. Levers gets involved with Flaff. Finity gets involved. Fox gets involved. Whilst we see the goal again. Just a deflection there. Slightest of deflections from Fox through the five hole. 2-1. 78 seconds later, great play from Danny Myers, pinching in. Barry Guards finds him, Myers shoots, Myers scores, is he happy? Oh yes, the Panthers captain has got his team back in this one, and we are tied at two apiece. Again, top of your screens, there's Danny Myers, goes over the glove of Di Caro, and the Panthers captain has got his club back in this one. Another bit of a scuffle, this game had everything, a Steelers-Panthers game of old. The two 17s, Francis of the Panthers, Hewitt of the Sheffield Steelers. Not the greatest of scraps, but this game was all about feistiness, competitiveness from the first shift to the last shift. The Bulldog with fighting spirit trying to finish off there. Fans getting involved as well. Everybody was having a ball at the arena. The Nottingham Panthers thought they'd gone three to one. What about that for a finish from Lakovic? But you heard the whistle from Murray Hansen. Brandon Benedict was in the crease. What a great finish, mind you, from Lakovic. This one, though, was going into overtime. Four on four. Second shift of the sudden death overtime period. Hit from Thomas. Savage picks up the puck and will give it to Jason Hewitt. Give it back to Savage, but keep your eyes on Mark Thomas. Picks it up on his own blue line. Goes red line, blue line. Taxi for Lapine, and then beats Craig Kowalski for the overtime winner in the 62nd minute. His best mate, Jason Hewitt, jumps all over him. The Steelers jump all over him. The fans were absolutely delighted. Let's see the game. I'm sure Lapine won't want to see it again, but a great move and a stunning finish from Mark Thomas. No better way to win a game between the Steelers and the Panthers. Mark Thomas was the hero of the night. The Steelers beat the Panthers by three goals to two. A delighted coach was Ryan Finnerty. Yeah, it was a hard fought battle. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of the guys and, and obviously to, to watch uh, Mark Thomas go end to end and, and end it is pretty sweet. What happened in that second period? Yeah, 
you know, I don't know. Just a, so the funny game hockey, the way the way momentum can can carry, and, and they definitely had it. They had us on our back heels, and and uh, you know, I think the, the last six minutes we came back a bit. We we got a power play there, and it, we we started kind of getting back to the way we needed to play. But and credit to them, they're a good hockey team, and, and that'll happen. And you know, they're you know. I, 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 got, I don't have the answers as to why, mm -hmm. but like I said, you know, we after the second period, we, we just said as a group that irregardless, we're winning this game today, whatever it takes. And, and uh, you know, I'm proud of the guys the way they came out and competed. I get the negative stuff out of the way early. Have you got to be smarter than you were in that second period? There were a couple of fights that maybe weren't necessary when you're leading by a couple of goals to nil. You know what? It, it wasn't anything. I don't think anybody went out there and, and offered out a guy. It was emotions of the game, and, and obviously Stevie standing up for himself, Huey again. You know, and it, you know, obviously that it's the emotion of the game, and that's the way the game's played. Um, you know, I'll never, you know, I'll never discredit a guy for standing up for himself and fighting. It, you know, not, not at all. I think uh, I think if anything, guys were getting into the battle and the emotion. It didn't go our way today. It didn't go our. Way, you know, after the fights, yeah, they they took it to us, but. You know, who's uh, to say that it won't go our way the next time? So yeah, ne never would I reprimand somebody for for fighting possibly at the wrong time. I think Huey, you know, it was it was a spirited battle for the one he got into. Like nobody went out there and, and deliberately took themselves off the ice just to have a to have a go. So it was all out of done out of competitive, uh, competitive nature. And, and like I said, it you know yeah they they took it to us the second period, but I don't think it was down to to the fights. I think they they were the better team in the second period. It was at boiling point, wasn't it, this one all the way through? It was very, very close to kicking off a couple of times. Did you just about manage to keep it on the right side there? Yeah, you know, when you play the self-proclaimed biggest, strongest team in the league, you, you sometimes want to step up a bit. Uh, you know, I, I don't, uh, you know, I think, I think the boys are ready to go. I mean, there's not too many teams that want to come in and bang with us, and we know that. We got to, we got to, we're, we're, we're a strong team, um, you know, but we, like I said, we, when we do play that way, we got to be controlled. And, might have lost it a bit there in the second, but we definitely retained it and got it back in the third, and we did enough to win tonight. Ash, get your first win over the Nottingham Panthers, a couple of goals to boot as well. Uh, how does it feel tonight? Pretty good. I mean, uh, we knew it was going to be a tough weekend in Brayhead last night, and, and obviously Nottingham, uh, they've kind of had the upper hand on us this year, and we, we knew we had to come to play, and I think uh, we didn't quite put 60 minutes together, but we did enough at the end. So, be easy to make excuses, but how much does it take out of you when you, you go all the way up here, here there to come back here to play Nottingham when yeah, they've, I mean, they've sat on the backsides all night. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's weird. Sometimes the second game, you kind of find your legs a little bit quicker, and I think that was the case tonight. We came out the blocks pretty quick, and, and you know, everybody was up for the game, and sometimes adrenaline can go a long way. So, um, you know, it's it's we were up for it, and, and I, th I don't think uh, anything from last night, you know, tied us out too much. What about that first period? Then a quick goal from you, and then the second coming before the 10 minute mark. It's been so hard to score against Nottingham. <coughs> What does that do for you when you get the early goals? I think that's the key. Is we, we knew we had to come out and score first, and we you know we got an early one, and, and uh, you know all of a sudden you know when they get the lead, they play very well. They, they're very structured, and, and they're tough to break down. And uh, you know, Kowalski didn't have his best night, and you know he's been great all year for them. And maybe tonight he uh, wasn't his best game. I'm sure he'll be the first to admit that. And you know we we got the goals and, and kind of took it to them. Let's talk about your two, and it could actually have been three in that first period, couldn't it? Uh, the first one. Tell me about it. Uh, it was just, you know, Squeezy and, and Leggy made, uh, you know, moved the puck well behind the net and, and uh, the pass came out, caught the D, he was kind of looking at me, turned around, it came through him and I, I didn't think about it, I just put it to the net and it hit the mesh, so that's, you know, that's what you want, you think too much, it doesn't happen sometimes, so. And the second? Same again, it was a two on one, um, I, I, I made my mind up before we played tonight, I said, I'm, you know, I'm shooting everything I can and I got a great play from Leggy and I just got it to the net. What happened with the third one? What was the the official ruling on the? I ice? think it was the whistle had gone. It was, you know, I've seen them given, mm. I've seen them not given tonight. It didn't, it wasn't. But you know, in the end, uh, it, it didn't matter. It would have been, you know, a little bit harsh for it to be called off, and we've not come out tonight with anything. So we won't worry about that too much. It was a typical Sheffield Nottingham game. Was there more spice in this one than there has been in, in maybe the last couple of years? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, um, we were the first time we played them. We, were, you know, we were a bit lackluster, and we kind of didn't have that usual jump that you need in the, in those games. And and we've kind of, you know, it's steadily sunk in that these are big games, you know, for the new guys. And and uh, I think our attitude was a lot better tonight than it has been the first couple of times we played them. And can you go toe to toe with them in the physical stakes? I'm not talking about fighting, but th they hit so much, don't they? They're so physical in that respect. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't see why not. Uh, I mean, sometimes you, you know, you, you want to make hits, but the ice, you know, there's so much room out there. You take yourself out the play to make a hit, and you know, it gives somebody else some room. So, you know, you, it, with any game, if the hit's there, you take it. 
Mm. If not, I mean, it's part of the game. You're going to get hit. You know, um, this, that's just how it, how it works. But uh, I, you know, we can we can mix it if that's how the game goes. I, I have no, uh, you know, we've got King or Clarky. You know, Stevie likes to throw his weight around too. So you know, if that's how it goes. You know, we're fine with that. Three defeats, I think, in 18 now. Uh, it's some run that you're on, and you've almost kind of gone unnoticed with the fact you do have a few games in hand. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't quite know how we got four or five games in hand on, on teams. It doesn't make make any sense as we're away this weekend, so we're going to drop another couple. But, um, you know, it's great for us. You know, we just we come in each week and we, we look at the weekend ahead and, and we just work to that, and then we start fresh on Tuesday. So that's what we'll continue to do.